everyone and welcome back to Emkin Gardening. Today we're going to be planting up some bulbs. We're going to be planting up the Morris Gudnov bulbs and the some of the big ups. We're going to start with the Morris Gudnov bulbs. Now we only got 25 of these bulbs. This is a brand new variety for us to try out this year and we're going to be planting them in our crab apple bed and in our pine tree bed. Now, because there's only 25 of them, we are going to supplement the pine tree bed behind with some big ups. And we'll go into the different size and heights of both of these bulbs in a little bit. But that way, this side of the yard is going to be nice and full with spring bulbs. The Morris Gutenhoff bulbs are those doubles that we love. Ryan loves doubles. They are orange and, or like a peach color and a red color. They can come in both streaked petals or just bold straight petals, but they're doubles and they're very thick and voluptuous and wonderful. Now these get 18 to 20 inches tall. So they do get pretty tall when they're up from the ground a nice big bulb double bloom shape they are a zone three through eight they like full sun and these ones are mid to late bloomers so they're not going to start blooming until probably the end of may or beginning of june so they're going to be a little bit later in the game then i mean definitely daffodils are going to be up first uh, and these ones are more mid the big ups are far more mid so when we plant these they would like a five inch depth. So we're gonna plant them just how we planted the daffodils too, with the pointy side up and the root side down. We'll show you a close up of that when we're planting them. We're going to use some fresh soil and some biotone when we start planting. And we might put some leaf mulch on top just to make it really nice and insulated for them over the winter. For the big ups, we're not going to be using too, too many of them just to back the back line. These ones get up to 24 inches tall, so there will be a height um, step level going down with the big ups compared to the Morris Gutenovs. So the big ups get like white, orange, red, yellow, some, some pinks and purple blooms, but they're just very tall. And we have them all in our front fence flower bed. The best thing about Big Ups is they're known for their resilience and their ability to come back sometimes three seasons after you plant them. So while we do have Big Ups in our front flower bed, we are going to be putting more in there this year because it wasn't thick enough for us last year. So we're going to be adding more this year. We got a hundred of these Big Up bulbs. We don't need all of those for that front bed because there's already some in there. So we're going to supplement this back area of the pine tree bed with the big ups and then the Morris Gutenovs right in front uh, to have that step level. The big ups also like to get full sun. They're also a three to eight zone. They also want a five inch depth planting. So very similar requirements to these. The only difference, these are a mid bloomer. So May, they're gonna start blooming. These ones are late, so late um, May, early June bloomers. The other really great thing about the Morris Gutenov is when we put it in the pine tree bed, if you remember those crazy uh, daylilies that were in there that had the strange European bug beetle that would just eat them, just attack them, all of those bulbs are in that pine tree bed. We're hoping that by planting more bulbs in that bed. Not only will it kind of shadow their growth and like when the bugs start attacking the blooms and the stalks, you won't really notice it as much because there's going to be beautiful blooms all around it. And it might allow us to be able to pull those this year if we have the heart to do it, those other ones. So It'll look great at least to have the whole bed filled with bulbs and not just those daylilies that are just struggling. So we're gonna plant with our auger 
go down to a five inch depth, biotone, new soil on top, super easy planting bulbs. Great reward at the very end because you get that whole wintering over season. They get those chill hours that they need and then come springtime, it pays off big time. Let's plant. Very quickly before we start auging, I wanted to give you a close up on how to plant the bulb. So the pointy side will always go up just like our daffodils and our garlic bulbs that we plant. And then the roots are coming out from the bottom here. So the bottom fat part goes into the ground at that five inch depth. The pointy side goes up, that's where the stalk and all the foliage come from. So we ended up putting all 25 Morris Gutenov bulbs, tulip bulbs, in the crab apple tree bed right behind us. So it's going to be nice and thick and lush in the springtime. And then we ended up putting 18 big up tulips in the pine tree bed, kind of flanking right behind where we have the Black Eyed Susans right now. So they'll intermix with those daylilies and hopefully provide um, some distraction for the eye for the beauty that they have and hopefully we won't get too many bugs on those bulbs this year so easy tulip planting we have tons more tulips coming up 
lots of really fun and exciting varieties for you all to see us try out so you can get a really good idea of what kind of tulips you might like in your garden. So if you liked this video, give us a thumbs up, comment down below, and subscribe to our channel. We hope you're having a great start to your November. Thanks. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.